We entered the Whispering Woods about 20 times now. You find yourself at the edge of the Whispering Woods. We found more whimsy orbs than I can count, and we played as a rogue four times in a row. You are Tharival Windwalker, an elven rogue. And we are again a rogue. The rogue. Master of stealth and cunning. Yeah, and we are again a rogue, so this is very similar. And I'm sick of those repetitive generative AI RPGs that we get served every day with GPT, with Claude and with Gemini. So let's go and test the new intelligent version of ChatGPT, which is called O1 Preview. I will put in our prompt, which is supposed to give me a unique extremely hard game that tries to kill me. Now ChatGPT will start thinking about this adventure and if it starts with a whimsy orb or the whispering woods, I don't know, I will sue them. Okay, so we have a new character sheet. We are Alaric, a human ranger. At level one, I told it to be very weak in the beginning, of course, with high dexterity. And we have a longbow, short sword, leather armor. We have 20 arrows. So let's see how good count it can take of those arrows. And we have some basic supplies. And let's see, are we in the Whispering Woods? You are Alaric, a seasoned ranger known for your tracking skills and survival instincts. You've been hired by the villagers of Ravendale to investigate a series of mysterious disappearances in the nearby Whispering Woods. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I called it. Oh shit. I really thought that ChatGPT01 will be more unique. It put me again in front of the breaking whispering woods. I just thought for a second, will I continue here or just let this idea die? But let's go. Let's see. Maybe maybe the story is good. Maybe the adventure is cool. Let's see. The forest is dense and rumors speak of dark creatures lurking within, at least not speaking of whimsy orbs. As you stand at the edge of the woods, the sun begins to set, casting long shadows between the trees. What do you do? So it gives me three options. You can also provide a free text response. This is exactly what I prompted it. So we can proceed carefully following the main path. We can search the perimeter for any tracks or signs of disturbance, or we can climb a tree. It's always not so interesting interesting when I read those options before I think about my own choice because then I get so limited in my mind. I think, whoa, that's, these are all the possible actions. There's nothing else to do. What could I even think of? So let's, let's go just for B. In the next one, I will choose an idea of my own. I will not read the options. You begin to carefully search the perimeter of the whispering woods, I know. Your keen eye is scanning for any signs of disturbance. The underbrush is thick, but you're adept at navigating such terrain. As the light dims, you spot something unusual, a set of footprints leading into the forest. They appear human, but are erratic, as if the person was stumbling or being dragged. Ooh, dangerous. While you're examining the footprints, a loud growl emanates from behind a nearby bush. Before you can react, a wild boar bursts forth, charging straight at you with surprising speed. You are under attack by a wild boar. What the hell? Okay, so we have options, but yeah, as I said, I won't read them. Yeah, just a random boar attack, all right. I have the long bow and the short sword. I think drawing an arrow would be stupid and I would probably die here. I try to hit it with my short sword while I dodge to the side. Let's see if this is a good response and we can survive this attack. Oh my god, we we just look for tracks and we're already dying. You attempt to dodge to the side while striking at the boar. As the beast charges, you swiftly move to await the path, rolling for dodge and attack. Your dodge is partially successful. You avoid the full force, but its sharp tusk grazes your thigh, leaving a deep Gash. Wow, you take five points of damage, so we're already half dead. Your swing misses as the boar rushes past you, your balance thrown off by the sudden injury. The wound hampers your agility, temporarily reducing your dexterity. That's cool. I also put into the prompt that it should reduce my stats when I take wounds, for example. Ah, until I receive proper treatment, the boar skids to a halt at a short distance away, snorting angrily, prepare to charge again. Oh man, now I try to rush to the nearest tree and climb up. I feel like fighting would be stupid. Huh. 
No, I see something. My wounded leg throbs with pain, making the task more challenging. Rolling for your attempt to reach and climb the tree. Despite the pain, you manage to limp to the tree just as the boar begins to next charge. You grasp the lowest branch and try to pull up. Unfortunately, your foot slips and you fail to climb high enough. The beast slams into you from behind. I am at one hit point. The severe wound causes intense pain. Your strength is reduced by one. I feel like... They say that it's against their terms of use because I'm about to die. Let's see if it allows me to die. Try to crawl into the dense thicket nearby it to hide. Trying to intimidate it is not that smart. I mean, I'm half dead. I should have done this before. Why is it attacking me anyways? Is there something going on in this whispering woods? I manage? To pull myself into the thick underbrush, it tries to sniff and tries to smell me, but for the moment I'm safe. However, my wounds are severe and blood continues to seep. You feel dizzy and your vision blurs. Okay, so due to blood loss, if you don't tend to your wounds soon, you'll lose one additional hit point and I only have one. What is in my what is in my backpack? What is in there? Let's see. Okay, now it checks my items, it, it checks my backpack. Oh, we have bandages. Okay, like we always have them. That's cool. And we have a herb solve that's also important mm, i could try to perform some first aid so treat the most severe wound with the bandages and the healing solve okay this looks good and we heal three hit points we have four now remaining that is amazing my strength penalty is lifted restoring my modifier but yeah still a bit of dexterity pain here so now we have four of 12 and i first check is the boar still around if not i continue to follow the tracks or maybe the bear is coming next i can emerge and try to take down the footprints again your ranger skills serve you well you successfully pick up the trail as you proceed the trees become denser and the canopy above thickens casting deep shadows so yes also something very very often reminding me of casting deep shadows yeah that's that's classical ai after some time you arrive at a small clearing in the center stands an ancient stone altar covered in moss and strange symbols the footprints lead directly to the spot but then abruptly stop a sense of unease washes over you the air feels heavy even the animals and even the crazy boar is afraid of this place or what what a coward examine the symbols and look for an opening mechanism Mechanism. Maybe they have some ritual where, where they sacrifice people or something on oh, that. That would be crazy. You approach the ancient stone altar, your eyes carefully studying the strange symbols etched into its moss covered surface. The symbols are unfamiliar, possibly of an old arcane language or a long forgotten cult. As you examine the altar, you notice that one of the symbols, a serpent entwined around a crescent moon, interesting, seems slightly worn compared to the others. Pressing it cautiously, you hear a faint clicking sound. A hidden panel slides open, revealing a small compartment. Now is there a riddle or something inside? There's a leather-bound journal and a peculiar gemstone emitting a soft pulsating light. Is this the whimsy orb? Before you can react, the ground beneath you starts to rumble. Wines and roots erupt from the earth, animated by some dark magic and lash out towards you. You've triggered a protective enchantment. Damn! Alright. I'm not as creative. Let me take a glimpse at those options here. But maybe the guy can do something with the crystal. Attempt to dodge. Use your short sword. Grab the gemstone and try to use it. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have, would have done. So I can just choose C. You swiftly grab the gemstone from the hidden compartment, rolling to see if you can harness the gemstone's power. Despite your unfamiliarity with magic, you manage to channel the energy just enough to momentarily disrupt the enchantment. The wines recoil slightly. However, controlling this such potent magic strange to your already weakened body. Oh my god, okay. Now we got dumb, okay. A mental exertion clouds my mind. The wines are weakened but not defeated. You sense that you have a brief window of opportunity. The gemstone continues to pulse erratically. It's power unstable. I really would like to read this journal, but yeah, where can I find the time? I take opportunity. 
to slash the vines with my short sword. You seize the opportunity, rolling for attack. Despite your injur injuries, you strike as effective. However, a remaining vine lashes out unexpectedly. So we are again at one health. Oh my god. Okay, the vines are now severely weakened, some lying lifeless on the ground. The gemstone is in your hand. This energy is seemingly depleted. You sense that this might be your last chance to act. Read the journal. Matt, just, just read the journal. I know that I'm bleeding, but I need to get somewhere safe and maybe it's inside of the altar. Given your critical condition and the immediate threat, stopping to read the journal now would be extremely risky. That's... That's amazing. Okay, that's one point for GPT-01 preview because it's a stupid idea. The wines could regain strength any moment and your severe injuries require urgent attention. Try to treat as much wounds as possible while hitting the last wines with my broad sword. So let's hope that we can get into a safe position somehow. I, it wanted me to escape that's not gonna happen i'd rather die than escape you attempt the nearly impossible task impossible tasks to treating your wounds while simultaneously defending yourself maybe that was stupid to give it the idea that they are still attacking and yeah i am stupid right i forgot that i'm stupid so somehow i'm not able to do both things at one at once the wine's attacking the wine whips around your arm oh damn minus one the pain is overwhelming your vision blurs the world spins and you feel yourself falling to the ground the last thing you see is the cold forest floor could i do something in this day you must take death saving throws to determine your fate results 10 a roll of 10 or higher is a success death saving throws success one okay i survive i would not have guessed that it gives me a death saving throw yeah this this time we survived while you lie unconscious the weakened wines retreat their energy depleted okay so now they're depleted as well just like me just like the crystal and the forest around you grows eerily silent time seems to stretch infinitely okay so now i have no options await the outcome of your death saving throws you can also provide okay such as a final thought or prayer pray to whatever god i serve so maybe i know this is a fantasy with enchantments maybe my god hears my my prayers i thought i was done for honestly and yeah i think i need to adapt the prompt a bit as you hover between life and death your thoughts reach out to the deity you serve in the silent depths of your mind you offer a fervent prayer result 15 success a faint warmth spreads through your body as your prayer has been acknowledged okay my god is helping me rolling third death saving throw what one after the other your will to survive remains strong what is happening? Okay, now there's a fourth death saving throw. I was successful three times and I failed once. So what is going on? You have stabilized but remain unconscious. Time passes as you lie motionless. Okay, so there is now soft footsteps approaching. A hooded figure emerges. Their face obscured. They wrap clean bandages around my injuries. The scent of healing herbs fill the air. Oh my god, we did it! Your eyes flutter open to see him, the mysterious figure watching over you. Their eyes meet yours, revealing a glimmer of concern. All right, instead of this being the most dangerous place on the planet of Earth or whatever land we are in, somebody comes and helps me. I will just act as if I'm still in unconscious. Maybe they will feed me. Maybe they will sacrifice me even. You decide to continue feigning unconsciousness. The hooded individual finishes tending your wounds with surprising care. They lean in closer, their face still obscured, but you catch a faint whisper in an unfamiliar language. Reaching into a satchel, the figure pulls out a small vial filled with a luminescent liquid. Uncorking it, they gently tilt your head back, bringing the vial to your lips. I hope that it's a healing potion. Just let let it slip down my throat. Quickly push the vial away and reveal that you're awake. No, 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 no. We want this. We want this energy. We want you to get healed. Oh, it's a healing potion. Amazing. Six of 12. The mysterious figure observes you for a moment longer. Satisfied with their work, they rise gracefully to their feet. Oh, that's that's weird. It's time for me to read the journal. Now use the time to read the journal. This is what I wanted to do. 
for a long time now, you decide to use this moment. The journal appears to be the personal diary of someone named Elandor, a scholar who ventured into the Whispering Woods to also investigate the very disappearances. Elandor writes about a cult that once inhabited the woods, performing rituals to awaken a malevolent, malevolent forest spirit. The altar's purpose is, of course, to sacrifice, maybe? something. The cult used a magical gemstone to channel power. Elander mentions a way to quell the spirit by placing the gemstone on the altar and reciting a specific incantation to dispel the curse affecting the forest. We try to perform this ritual and awaken the forest spirit. I think we are not stupid anymore, right? We place the gemstone in a concave indentation at the center of the altar. It fits perfectly. So yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Everything fits perfectly here. Taking a deep breath, you start to recite the incantation. The words are unfamiliar and you strain to pronounce them correctly. Uh oh As you speak the final words, the glow from the symbols intensifies and a low hum resonates. It seems like the ritual is working. However, a sudden surge of dark energy erupts. A spectral figure emerges and twisted apparition of the malevolent forest spirit. It eyes burn with malice. Let's all an ear-piercing screech. The spirit lunges at you, its ethereal claws reaching for your heart. What? If I survive this attack of the forest spirit, then I don't know what's, what's wrong. Initiative roll. The spirit is first. Okay. Combat begins. The spirit swipes at me. We get four damage. Necrotic damage. A chilling pain. So we have two of twelve. Oh my god, it's my turn to act. I think it's the best choice to grab the crystal and throw it at the spirit. Maybe the crystal energy, dark energy will kind of evaporate the ghost. You make a desperate dash towards the altar, grab the gemstone. The gemstone sails through the air and strikes the spirit squarely. Upon contact, the gemstone emits a brilliant flash of light. Tendrils of radiant energy lash out from the gemstone wrapping around the entity. The spirit shrieks. We now defeated the for spirit, I repeat the rich this time to improve the pronunciation. Maybe we can fulfill the ritual now with two of 12 health left. I don't know. So the storytelling is not better. It's it's exactly the same than before. The only thing that is better or more accurate is the context. And yeah, the common sense maybe. Your improved pronunciation resonates with the latent magic within the altar. So this all goes very smoothly. The symbols begin to glow faintly, gradually intensifying as you continue the incantation. Cleansing energy pulses. That's good. It appears you've successfully completed the ritual. You regain two health points. That is amazing. Um, I should try to destroy the altar, but that's the task of the next rogue in the Whispering Woods. Go back to the village and rest from this adventure. I think we did it. ChatGPT 01 preview was not able to kill us, even though it killed us, I think many many times and we still survived with a death death saving throw now it's interesting 11 seconds to think yeah that's that's a long time the old ChatGPT was of course so fast but yeah you decide that it's time to return to ravendale and rest as you walk you notice the forest feels different fortunately the forest seems to favor you now no hostile creatures cross your path okay so that was all part of the story you know this this random boar attack of course it was it was part of it as you approach ravendale villagers spot you and rush out to meet you wow alaric you've returned calls out eldrick the village elder what news did you bring well i did it i fought this crazy spirit and this boar and there was this hooded figure and the villagers listen in attention when you finish a wave of relief and gratitude you are a true hero you saved us all. Oh my god. There's a village healer even. Okay, I don't need to rest. They just heal me fully. Nice. Okay. So we have festivities. Yeah, of course. We have a party. We cannot thank you enough. Wow, you are so great. Congratulations. You've completed the adventure and lifted the curse from the Whispering Woods. All right, we gained some experience. Thanks for watching. And I promise I will optimize the prompt. And yeah, let's see what it will bring. And I will maybe add something like creativity and maybe that will do the trick. See you all in the next one.